Now, I'm a little late to the party, but I just got around to watching Soul based on recommendations from my violin students, and wow, what an excellent movie. In this video, I'm going to be exploring some simple ideas and how this movie kind of relates to the real life musician. Uh, stick around to the end of the video, here's my review. Hi there, my name is Eric, I'm a violinist. Thanks so much for coming across the channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. That way you get notified for when new videos come out. I do a lot of violin how-to tutorials, how-to tips, and news videos such as this one. And it really helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Disney released its movie Soul recently, a couple weeks ago. And uh, man, the feels. It's just uh, an incredible depiction of what the what it's like to be a real world musician especially now that I mean we're all kind of isolated and we don't have any of these in-person performance experiences especially as an artist and it was a very interesting perspective as a music teacher and violinist and performer watching this movie because it's real it's like a very realistic depiction and now let me tell you why so the movie starts out with a, a music teacher band director and he is teaching in front of a class and then all of a sudden he is trying to explain a certain idea a trombone student goes up and plays uh, a very cool jazz lick and then everyone around the class is kind of making fun of her but then he is trying to defend her and goes to the piano and then plays this amazing um, amazing lick on um, on the piano and while he was playing his piano he was kind of in a zone he wasn't really thinking about anything else and he was just focusing on the music that he was uh, making from his instrument and a lot of the times that's how we feel too you know you're in the zone and you really don't care or you're not really aware of the people around you who are watching you you're kind of in your zone and um, that was a really cool moment the entire class was uh, like really astounded and then a few moments later he gets a <clears throat> he gets a little check or a job offer as a full-time position for a music educator and as a performer we we are hesitant always to be able to accept full-time positions because that means our performance careers often take a take a, a nose dive. Because music education takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of planning, it takes a lot of organizing. You're dealing with a lot of different personalities every single day. And it's not like performing where you kind of go on stage and then you just perform and you just feel the music that's happening on stage. Later on in the movie, towards the beginning or later on in the introduction, this this band director, he gets a call from one of his former students saying, hey, this pianist bailed out. We need a pianist for tonight. Can you do it? And he gets his job offer, his gig offer. And it's like the gig of a lifetime with this very famous musician. And then I don't want to spoil anything. So if you're watching this, spoilers ahead. So then the musician dies, right? <laughs> so the musician dies. He is, it's unexpected. He was so excited that he got the gig and he goes into a into a sewer hole and and then he goes to the great beyond is what they call it the great beyond and uh he was so disappointed because the one shot that he finally got he he didn't get it then the movie takes us on a journey with uh, the band director and then um, and then a really cute character and they they kind of become a pair and the soulmates they call it so there's this mentor who is trying to be help this young uh, this young soul from the great before and pre prepare them to uh, going down to earth and then they go on this journey and then as they go on the journey he realizes that it's not Life isn't just about music and I think that's the point of the film is Sometimes musicians often get really hyped about having the best gig or having the best performance, but then once that happens What what else is there to life? You're thinking about music every single day 24 7 especially I remember when I was in conservatory and university where I'm just practicing every day. I'm living music every single day. I'm studying music every single day but then what what is there afterwards and towards the end they finally realize that life is not just about one thing it's about enjoying the simple things in life 
And I think as a musician and as an artist, we do our best to kind of replicate those simple things into an artistic form. And that was super inspirational for me, especially you know, coming from a place where I've been playing the violin for a long time, I am a music educator and a performer at the same time. And it's difficult to balance the two. So I'm interested to know what your thoughts are and I want you to leave a comment down below if you've already seen the movie Soul and if you haven't, I highly recommend it. And then come back to this video and then let me know what you think. Being a musician, is, it's all part of the journey, but if you can't enjoy the simple things in life, then why are we doing it to begin with? And there's one quote that I, I want to share with you all and this is something that I got out of a string seminar class and this one professor who was leading the string seminar class, she goes, what happens if tomorrow you're not able to play music anymore? And to me, that was a very profound statement. And it was like, I'd never even thought about that because my daily routine and my daily life is music every single day for four years. And then later on in my master's for two years. So six years of thinking about music nonstop. And what if that goes down the drain? Well, it's, but it's true. You know, you have other responsibilities in life and you just have to appreciate the simple things and it's all a balance. You know, if you don't, if you don't balance everything out, then too much music, you neglect the simple things. And if, then of course, on the, on the contrary, if you just worry about the simple things and not don't pay attention to music, then, you know, then you get the opposite end of the spectrum that you need to practice more, you need to perform more, you need to play more. So uh, I encourage you to enjoy the simple things, kind of like what soul did to me. And it was just an eye-opening movie, especially as we head into 2021, because maybe this was a foreshadowing for 2021, if you, if you want to think of it that way, where we've gone through this pandemic. And I think right now as a society and as musicians, we need to just enjoy the little things that come our way and just enjoy the simple things in life. There you have it. There is my opinion and review on the movie Soul by Disney. If you liked the video, hit the like button. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. That way you get notified for when new videos come out. And it also helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video.